Hello and welcome to Collections Revealed. My name is Yulia Bodano and I am the museum curator here at the Gibson House and Property. Um, today we are in the agricultural display and um, as many of us are getting outside this spring and possibly thinking about planting uh, a garden, uh, we thought we'd tell you a little bit about Yolo County's rich agricultural history. In 1890, California was the second largest producer of wheat within the nation. Um, after a series of years of drought and flood, um, those, uh, the, pro the production of wheat lessened and by 1915, uh, California was no longer uh, the leader in wheat. But we'd like to tell you a little bit about wheat production here in Yolo County. To harvest the wheat, we would use a hand scythe. To move the wheat out of the fields, we would use a hay fork and that hay fork would get the grain into a hay sack, much like this one. It would be placed on a, on a hay scale, which would weigh the amount of uh, wheat that was produced, and then you would sew it up with a hay needle, which is a very long piece of steel, and you would suture up the bag and then put it on train. Today we don't see a lot of wheat being produced in Yolo County. Our top crops are tomatoes, grapes, and almonds. And these lovely fruits and vegetables um, are part of California's rich agricultural history. So California produces over 400 different types of crops with 2,000 different soil types. And that's about 76,000 farms total in California. And most of the farms are family owned, much like the Gibsons. Um, California's family farms are um, a very large part of our GDP. To start your own backyard garden, visit yoloarts.org for our digital education kits where you can learn how to plant, seed, water, and grow your own garden. See you next time on Collections Revealed.